Hi everyone, uh, in today's video we are going to discuss uh, this particular board WT32SC01 So we will be discussing whether uh, to uh, buy this board or not and what are the advantages and disadvantages of this and uh, you will uh, get to know that uh, if you bought by mistake uh, whether it is useful or not so I buy it from the Aliexpress I was uh, like uh, in some other country and uh, there it, it was uh, like available around 2500 and here in India uh, it was available for around uh, I think 4600 or something on Robo.in and I think Electronic Pump is also providing that and it is widely advertised as a uh, drag and drop GUI functionality and if you see uh, the screenshots of it you will see that uh, like uh, when you uh, see the advertisement and the product catalog uh, you will see very very nice UI kind of thing you might uh, like get confused with the mobile screen because UI is uh, looking so good so uh, I also uh, kind of get fooled by that and I bought this one and uh, I didn't uh, like uh, try uh, uh, the UI interface uh, over the web and I just bought it and I thought that it will work but the uh, sad news is it, it is not fully functioning website so I'm talking about the 8ms site uh, which is uh, provided by this particular uh, board and I think the providers are wireless stack so they put together their developers and create a UI that looks very nice and from the UI perspective it's really good uh, they have all the functions like uh, you will see in any windows form kind of thing so you have sliders drop downs and everything but it that is uh, lacking uh, a lot in uh, microcontroller thing so uh, that's the Wi-Fi Bluetooth board and uh, like uh, if you know that uh, it based on ESP32 so it actually supports uh, Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth communication but uh, the funny thing is uh, on the website you won't be able to find any code uh, which which actually shows you how to connect it and uh, there is many provisions like uh, you can uh, set it up uh, in, in your environment and you can like uh, build UI in their website and then uh, you can download the project and uh, like uh, append that or you know uh, modify that project according to your own need include libraries and all but uh, you are not able to do it and I don't think uh, anyone is able to do it uh, I try to search over internet a lot and I am not able to find any reference so my background is uh, I think I have 9 years experience in uh, Visual Studio development so I am basically a .NET developer and still I am not able to figure out how to actually connect it I am able to use ESP32 with the Visual Studio code as well as in Express uh, ID but uh, this uh, board project uh, fails to build and uh, there is a uh, lots of do documentation and it's just uh, useless and I don't think uh, they will uh, even update it I think uh, that company uh, kind of get bankrupted for this uh, particular project and uh, they have no intention to upgrade it now uh, let's talk about uh, what are the good news about it uh, the good news is uh, you still able to program it using Arduino and I know uh, there is very less projects out there but the thing is you can actually build or you can say flash and any project which you have built for ESP32 can be worked with this so I have tried like uh, I have tried with the ultrasonic sensors, temperature sensors, uh, RF based sensors so my uh, upcoming projects will be uh, based on the RF and IR devices so it's kind of like uh, very large, uh, big project for me uh, because it will gonna take some time but I choose this board for that project uh, uh, learning curve is a lot but uh, I'm planning to uh, create a series video uh, for this particular board because uh, I have seen many comments uh, in the Amazons and other sites where uh, they have bought this and uh, after that uh, they started to uh, like uh, uh, using the website and then they get to know that uh, they don't have anything uh, for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities and uh, you will know that what pins they have and all so I will be uh, try to like fill that gap because there is very less documentation out there and uh, I'm also using uh, some others programs and try to manipulate it according to my own need so I will not take the whole credit uh, of doing that but in this video uh, we are not going to uh, discuss anything about it it's just about this board and we will be discussing theory so if you're uh, looking into uh, like uh, 
like actual uh, programs then uh, you can just uh, save this uh, playlist wt32 sc01 and i will be uploading uh, videos on it so uh, there might be a chance that uh, the code which i will uh, uh, give you guys uh, it will be helpful for you so uh, the main uh, benefits of uh, using this uh, you will get uh, that uh, very large screen so i think it's 3.5 in screen and uh, which has a resolution resolutions of like 320 by 480 pixels so uh, 320 by 480 pixels and uh, most of the things works with the ui like uh, if you want to draw a rectangle if you want to print any text uh, if you want to add any horizontal lines and uh, if you want to fill a uh, draw a fill rectangle fill ellipse fill round rectangle so all these kinds of things is available over the internet uh, there is a library uh, i think livoin something uh, i will uh, post the link in the description so this library still exists so you won't be able to find uh, many many uh, creative uh, programs like uh, many users are doing with spi displays so for example uh, i am not able to find any program which can display images so uh, that is uh, like uh, i don't like about it but my main concern is i want to uh, like show a bunch of buttons in there and i want to click on it and i want them to execute something so all those functionalities can be done with this and using arduino only so we are not talking about 8ms interface at all so i kind of try that too but uh, I think uh, there is a user who actually uh, created one, so I will not going to repeat that thing again. So I might uh, post the links of that video. So it will uh, give you uh, give you an example of testing it, like what it is capable of. But uh, again, uh, that program can't be used with Arduino, so it it's, it makes no sense. But if you wants to have it, uh, like uh, if you wants to play around, like if you wants to make a calculator or any. Uh, non non dynamic things and logics like adding subtraction with the things uh, you have on your screen like if you click on it and it will like uh, show buttons and all so very uh, kiddish kind of thing but if you wants to go with that then uh, 8ms is fine but other than that if you really wants to do something logical and uh, like thoughtful uh, which can uh, like uh, do the justice with this board uh, i think 8ms is the most thing you ever <laughs> going to use with this so for my experience uh, it's it has a learning curve with arduino but once you get the program uh, like uh, write down and able to compile it then uh, it will become very easy to use it so uh, i if you have seen my uh, short video uh, where i was uh, doing that manipulation so i'm uh, working on creating dynamic buttons and uh, a logic for uh, dynamic touch control so that i can uh, using switch for uh, doing bunch of stuff so it's still in progress so i will not going to share that but just in case if you want it uh, i can pro provide you the code so uh, things like uh, this input output pins actually works uh, in the same way uh, you have it in esp32 the only problem with this board is uh, if you see uh, there is uh, no marking on the board so we can see uh, you won't be able to see any uh, pin uh, pin markings so you uh, if you wants to like uh, wire it up uh, with a 32 pin or 33 pin you won't be able to find it so uh, the main problem for uh, this to happen is because <coughs> sorry because uh, they kind of <coughs> put lcd on top of uh, this board where all the <coughs> sorry so where all the uh, like a board uh, markings are there so it kind of hide it and then they provide female uh, like uh, connecting i don't know what they call it uh, uh, female connectors on it uh, what they need to do is they need to uh, provide some uh, markings here as well but that is the only thing i think uh, which really makes me irritate uh, so in order to uh, find the pins you need to like uh, go into the computer and look for the data sheet for this so i will provide a link for that uh, and if you don't want to click on the link you can just search wt32 sc01 data sheet and uh, it will pop up and one pdf so that is the only pdf you will find over the internet so 
it's like um, I think uh, it is provided by the wireless tag and there you will find all the pins and all so main benefits of uh, using this board over uh, ESP32 is it has a screen so it is very good for uh, testing related logics where you wants, don't want to go to the Seagate port you can just print it here and uh, another thing uh, which uh, you can uh, use with this is 5 volt uh, uh, sorry. Uh, my uh, tablet start uh, waking up uh, due to my command. So uh, what I was saying is, uh, it has a five volt current, so it can provide one, and it actually has I think two of them. So traditional ESP32 have only 3.3 volt, as you know. So that is a very good thing. So many sensor which is which required actually external power supply can be hooked up directly with this, and also because it is a Type C and it can support two ampere of current. So your board will have lots of current with it, and due to the Type C interface, it is very fast to upload this code. But compilation still uh, takes a lot of time uh, due to the graphics library. But uh, uploading is really fast with this. So that is uh, some. Uh, like benefits of using it. So uh, if we go with the sub summary, uh, whether you want to buy it or not, for 4,600, I think uh, that's a little bit costly uh, uh, by going the fact that you have to actually search a lot in order to make this work because many times it happens is, is uh, when I uh, try to hook up uh, pin 32 or I think uh, pin uh, 12 or 13, so it start uh, blinking the screen I don't know why and I'm not able to see any documentation uh, whether uh, that particular input is used by anything and all so I don't know there are many pins like that so I need to just uh, keep switching the pins in order to get uh, the actual digital input output working port so that is the thing uh, which uh, really uh, makes me irritated other than that uh, uh, I think uh, the slim form factor is very good uh, if if I, uh, if you talk about me, I'm not able to make any board like this slim. Uh, so ESP32 have mail headers and I'm really bad with soldering. And if I want to hook up any, uh, this much screen, so I will be just using lots of jumper wires and my circuit will become uh, that thick. So it's, it's far better than that and it looks very <laughs> slim. So uh, for that form factor, uh, I think it's still worth the money. But don't buy it uh, because of the 8ms website because it's actually a garbage website i will uh, say it bluntly and uh, after uh, i think uh, spending uh, three to four days uh, i am able to get comfortable with this and uh, i have tested uh, most of the sensor with this so rf sensor i have tested uh, ultrasonic sensors and temperature sensors and uh, <clears throat> and uh, I think LEDs I have also tested with this and they all are working fine and uh, and you don't uh, the good thing is uh, if you have a ESP32 program written all you need to do is just change the pin number and you can just upload the code with this so ESP32 dev module is the board uh, which is detected by the Arduino ID so that is a very good thing uh, you don't have to like uh, switching between uh, different boards so in the base, uh, it is actually in ESP32. So that is something uh, which you can like uh, uh, consider uh, while buying this. So 4,600 is still very uh, huge price, but if price is not the thing, uh, then you can uh, go with this. But I think uh, Raspberry Pi is uh, also cost you around 5,500 something. So maybe you want to buy with that, uh, go with that because it support SDMI output and which means that you can actually put any number of screens and also there there is a very huge library graphic library support with this so at that time you you might want to think about it uh, between this and that so I bought it uh, for around 26 or 2700 and I think uh, with that price it's fine but uh, 8ms is not supported with this now so uh, that is a very sad thing but other than that uh, it's a good board so if you have bought this so please uh, uh, I will not say uh, subscribe it but uh, at least add a bookmark for that playlist and uh, you might uh, get a very good uh, example of uh, using this useless board and uh, put some live into it 
so many users were saying that that it's it is not usable at all because there is lacks of uh, lacks, lack of uh, documentation yet that's right but uh, not anymore so i will be posting few codes which will help you build any sp32 projects as you have built uh, with this one too and uh, actually uh, with uh, showing the screen so if you have any comment uh, regarding this board so you can discuss with me and uh, yes i am available and i will try to answer them as soon as possible and uh, see you in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day bye